Neville Goddard's not technique is a unique approach to manifestation focused on using the word not to communicate with your subconscious mind and reduce resistance. While not explicitly mentioned in his major works, it has gained traction within the law of assumption community. This statement is about the concept of reframing your thoughts and desires in a more positive or accomplished light. Instead of focusing on what you want or don't have, you express your statements as if you've already achieved your goal or as if the problem no longer exists. This can be a powerful tool in shaping your mindset and attitude towards your goals and challenges. Let's expand on this with a few more examples. Instead of saying I want to lose weight you could say I'm not carrying any extra weight. Instead of saying I wish I could travel you could say I'm not stuck at home. Instead of saying I need to save more money you could say I don't have any financial worries. In each of these examples, the reframed statement focuses on the absence of the problem, rather than the presence of the desire. This can help create a more positive mindset and can make your goals feel more attainable. It's a subtle shift in language that can have a big impact on your outlook. This approach aims to bypass resistance and limiting beliefs, which are often associated with directly stating your desires. By focusing on the absence of lack, you supposedly remove these mental roadblocks. It encourages detachment from the outcome, fostering a sense of already having what you desire. This aligns with the principle of aligning your vibration with your manifestation. However, it's important to note that this method is not about denying reality or ignoring challenges. It's about shifting your focus and changing your perspective to foster a more positive and proactive mindset. The way we talk to ourselves matters. Positive self-talk can lead to a more optimistic outlook and can help us better manage stress and tackle challenges. So, next time you catch yourself focusing on what you don't have, try reframing it in terms of what you're not lacking. How to use not technique. Instead of dwelling on the problems you face, consider using affirmations that emphasize the absence of those difficulties and the positive feelings associated with your desired outcome. Think of them as mental seeds you plant and water regularly, allowing them to blossom into reality. Here's how. Identify the problem and desired outcome. Start by clearly defining what you want to achieve. Do you yearn for a fulfilling job, a calmer mind, or a healthier lifestyle? Once you have a specific goal, you can craft your not statement. For example, if you're feeling overwhelmed with job applications, your desired outcome could be landing a fulfilling position. Flip the script with not. Instead of saying, I can't find the right job rephrase it using not to focus on the absence of the problem. This could be, I don't need to search for a job anymore because the perfect opportunity is already on its way. Infuse gratitude and positive emotions. Add a layer of positive emotions by expressing gratitude for what you already have or the feelings you anticipate in your desired state. For instance, I'm grateful for the skills and experiences that make me a valuable candidate. I feel excited and confident about the upcoming interviews. Repetition is key. Like any new habit, consistent practice is crucial. Repeat these affirmations regularly, especially during relaxed states like daydreaming or before sleep. This allows them to sink deeper into your subconscious mind, influencing your thoughts and actions, making it more likely to manifest in reality. Here are some additional examples to illustrate the technique. Instead of I'm always tired and stressed, try I feel energized and calm, knowing I have the ability to handle any challenge. Instead of I'm worried about making mistakes, try I'm confident in my abilities and open to learning from any missteps, mistakes are stepping stones to growth. Instead of I feel lonely and disconnected, try I'm grateful for the supportive people in my life, and I'm open to creating new meaningful connections. Here's another example of a not statement in Neville Goddard's teachings. If you're seeking financial stability, instead of saying I want to be wealthy you would say, I am not in need of more money. While saying this statement, you should feel the relief and contentment of already having enough money. Visualize yourself living comfortably, paying your bills with ease, and having enough to spare and share. Repeat this statement and feeling regularly, especially in relaxed states like before sleep. This practice can help to impress the feeling of wealth and abundance onto your subconscious mind, which according to Neville Goddard's teachings, can lead to its manifestation in your reality. Remember, 
the key is to genuinely feel the state of your wish fulfilled as you recite the not statement. Remember, these affirmations are not magic spells, but rather tools to shift your mindset and cultivate positive expectations. As you repeat them with genuine belief and positive emotions, you'll be surprised by how they can influence your reality. Action Steps to Take Identify your desire, clearly define what you want to manifest. Rephrase with not turn your desire into a statement, using not that implies its fulfillment. Feel the desired state. Immerse yourself in the emotions and feelings associated with having your desire fulfilled. Let go and trust. Release attachment to the outcome and trust that the subconscious will bring it about. The time it takes to see results from Neville Goddard's not technique can vary greatly from person to person. It depends on factors such as the individual's consistency in practicing the technique, their belief system, and the nature of what they're trying to manifest. Some people have reported seeing results in as little as four days. However, it's important to note that this is not a hard and fast rule. The key is to practice the technique regularly and with conviction, and to allow the manifestation process to unfold naturally. Remember, the knot technique is not just about reciting affirmations. It's also about genuinely feeling the state of your wish fulfilled as you recite the knot statement. The more you can align your emotional state with the state of having already achieved your desire, the more effective the technique can be. It's also worth noting that belief in the technique is not necessary for it to work. What's required is taking the steps and applying the technique. So even if you're skeptical, you might still give it a try and see what happens. In conclusion, while some people may see results quickly, others may need to practice the technique consistently over a longer period of time to see results. The key is to be patient and persistent, and to trust in the process.